lots of families will be on vacation for the 4th of July holiday. And that means outdoor fun and activities, of course, and it is important to remember to keep both kids and adults properly hydrated during these busy, busy summer days. We've got Dr. Steve Evelsizer from the urgency room here with some advice on this. Doc, thanks for coming in. Hey, good morning, thank you. Look, this is something that I think a lot of us think is very obvious, but when you mm -hmm. kind of get into right. it, Heather, like you forget to take care of hydrating yourself, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the 4th of July is hot in Minnesota. People mm -hmm. are often outside. Uh, they're engaging in activities, sports, and out on the water, maybe some alcohol in the mix, and it's easy to become right. dehydrated. You see it, you see it this mm -hmm. week. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Sure. We see lots of people coming in with dehydration and needing mm -hmm. some fluids and things like that, mm -hmm. so. And I know there's a lot of biking in the Twin Cities. You say that's really a common source of what people can get dehydrated? Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's a few reasons that people get dehydrated when they're biking. One is that that wind that's generated from biking evaporates away your sweat quicker, and so you might not realize how much you're actually losing when you bike. Another reason that the people are often biking in groups, and so it's hard to slow down and take a break and stop and hydrate when you're biking. Young so, athletes, of course, also at risk. I know yeah. I have a couple of soccer players yeah. in my family. Yeah, absolutely. You know, kids are often out there, they're playing hard, not realizing that they're getting dehydrated. It's important to have scheduled water breaks during the, right. during the game or event. You might notice that they're becoming dehydrated when they're at their performance is starting to decrease. Maybe they're getting a little nauseated, headachey, that type of thing. Yeah, those are good tips because I have a three-year-old who sometimes mm -hmm. doesn't tell me when she's oh, thirsty. Right, so it's right, hard right. for me to know yeah. how much they should be getting. No, absolutely. Just schedule those regular water breaks every huh. so often, That's maybe every idea. 20 minutes or so during the event. What is water loading? Water loading is just simply uh, drinking plenty of water before the activity, maybe several hours before the activity or game. Does so it work? Is that all right? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, it absolutely works. And then it's still important to take those breaks throughout the activity just to maintain your hydration level. And then what are the best sources of, of how we can hydrate ourselves? Uh, great question. You know, water is good. Sports drinks are also good. They provide some electrolytes that your body needs. You know, it's important to not let your salt levels um, drop too low when you're exercising. Mm -hmm. So those sports drinks are beneficial. Uh, and also, there's a lot of water in regular yeah. fruits and vegetables, yeah, too, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, believe it or not, cucumbers are the highest water content of any vegetable, 96.7%, wow. higher than watermelon even. But these are all great fruits and vegetables, cantaloupe, uh, tomatoes, lettuce, celery. These Very are all great options. Very good. Great mm -hmm. to think about this weekend. Doc, thanks right. for coming in from the hey, urgency room. Yeah, we appreciate thanks a lot. It. Have a nice fourth.